Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. I'm your host today, Silent Senior 09, and this is the day where we tackle the Swamp Palace. Isn't it grand? Well, whether you think it is or not, we're gonna do it. So, hold your breath, hold your nose, here we go. Whoo! Smell in that lovely scent. The stench of swamp. Although, I'm noticing there's a problem here. Hmm. It would seem that we have a ladder that's a little too tall for us to climb. Dang it. Curses. <clears throat> Curses. Curse us for having too short limbs. Anyway, sorry. Ugh, throat. Eric is I, Sarasala. Objects exist simultaneously in both worlds with similar shapes. If the form of a thing changes, it will affect the shape of its twin in the other world. Hmm, okay. Well, as it just so happens, we might have a little flashback memory that can tell us exactly what he's talking about. Which isn't so bad, I guess. However, if you pull the rightmost lever, it opens the floodgate, allowing the water to travel through. Oh, sure, you're going to go down this hallway, of course, as I'm traveling down it. All cheerily. Jeez. Anyway, for doing that, what that does is it drains the water outside. Yes, exactly, exactly. So it would seem that we need to go ahead and take a moment to look into the mirror and reflect on this matter. So that way we can better assist ourselves in completing this journey. So, if y'all remember, we went in here, pulled the rightmost lever, and it actually opened up the water gate there, which caused the flood to happen. And then, of course, there was a piece of heart that we picked up as a result. Well, in this case, even though there's no more piece of heart there, for doing this, if we go ahead and head south, like we're going back into the dark world here. Ah, interesting. So the water outside drained. And if we go inside here, hey, there's a flow of water. All right, so now we can hop in here and then swim around. Very nice. Okay. That was actually a neat little mechanic. I like that they did. And to think they did this with this game, you know. Oh, goodness, because this game came out like for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And that was a good while ago, you know. I don't know, it just kind of blows my mind that they did that, also, for defeating the enemies. We get a key! Also, watch out. Yeah, that little blue bubble that bounces off the walls can be kind of a pain. I actually don't know the names of the enemies here, either. Offhand, G, knock on wood, wins as a prize. But, future stuff can help me out with a few of them. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Alright, so... To avoid dying here. I think there should be a key? Yeah, okay, there's a key there. And then before we get ahead of ourselves, though, I do actually want to go up to this side here and bomb this out, because I think there's a chest in here. I don't think there's going to be anything important. It's probably just going to be bombs, arrows, or rupees, but whatever it may be, I'm going to go ahead and just open it up. Oh, it's the dungeon map. Okay, well, that's kind of important. Awesome. Awesome possum. Ooh. Anyway, take a look at this map here. Holy crap! That is a lot of floor to cover. And then floor one's like, mm, yeah, not much here. <laughs> you got the entrance, and then I think that's probably going to be like toward the end. Jeez. Well, looks like we're going to be kept busy on one primary floor for this dungeon, but we'll see. We'll see how we fare. It probably won't be too bad. I find myself not getting as lost in this dungeon as much as I am the Palace of Darkness. Because I feel like the Palace of Darkness scatters so many freaking keys. Whereas the Swamp Palace... I mean, yeah, there's going to be quite a few keys here, but I feel like it's a little more straightforward in comparison. It might not be. It might be just as convoluted as the Dark Palace of Darkness is, and I'm just being silly, but... That's my opinion, and I'm allowed to have one, so bleh, 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 I say bleh. 
It's like I'm Count Chocola right now, jeez. I might actually go for some, whatchamacallit, dino pe pebbles today. Are, are they called dino, you know, they're called dino fruits. Oh, maybe they're dino pebbles, yeah. Yeah, I got one of those off-brand cereals where it's just like this massive bag of cereal. It's the same idea of Fruity Pebbles, just it's off-brand and has doesn't have like the iconic Flintstones character on it or whatever. But I'm like, whatever, really, it doesn't bother me. All it's I care about is I'm getting my cereal fixins and I'm getting it in a large bag. Really? No key in here? Okay. I would have stuck a key in there just for the lols of it. The lols, man. Also, yeah, that's what I need. I had to stop and think for a second, jeez. Alright, so we go around the bin. If you run in the switch like this, uh, like this, <clears throat> it usually flicks and then of course it'll either cause water to come in or it'll lower it depending on the situation. In this case, usually it's caused the water to come in. And we don't need to go that way, I don't know why I did that. Ugh. At least the switch didn't reset. Because that would be kind of a pain if it did. Shoo! And all the little splash noises kind of reminds me of Yoshi's Island. Specifically, like World 3. Because there's a lot of splooshing and splashing around in that. Old jungle level. Jeez. Dude! Alright, well, whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and head south. Because I remember, I think, off the top of my head, there's like a compass or something in here. I do know. I want to go ahead and basically go around the band. It doesn't look like you're going to be getting anywhere because there's no actual like doors of progression here. And it feels like, well, this seems like a pointless endeavor because if you actually take time and you, and you peek around the corner here, you wind up finding, hmm, I'm just back in the same room I was in before. There's no point in this, but you push that block and that's why you do that. So now we know where evil is. Evil! We know where the evil Leia is. Mm, yes, yes. Also, I don't know why I just want to pull these tongues out. I think there's like going to be a section later where we do that. Alright, so let me figure this out here. I know I'm going need to go, need to go left. That much is true. Tried and true, if you will. But, for now, let's uh stop looking at our map and just go ahead and make our way this way. I think we're ready to go, need to go bottom left. And that actually will lead us to, oh, more fun. More fun. More fun stuff. In fact, I don't even, I may actually have to go back up north. Because I remember there's like a, an area we gotta go up to. Yeah, that was a bad move on my part. Yeah, there's an area we gotta go up to because I remember these blocks are actually not pushable no matter what we do. But if we had water flowing, we'd actually be able to go over it. Oh, actually, I guess we did need to go this way because there's the key, and I think there's probably a locked door. Also, I think I have to fart. <coughs> Man, what was that? Seriously? That was like a little raspberry or like a little bubble popping from wrapping paper. It's like, poop. Like there was no point or purpose to that. Not saying everything has to have a purpose or point necessarily as far as like value is concerned. But if I'm gonna toot, I wanna toot my own horn, I want it to really trump it off. You know, give me this long just freaking carry a tune while you're at it. And then I'm like, yeah yeah, that's how you fart. Yeah, you can probably tell I'm kind of a guy. <laughs> Cause farts and poop make me laugh for some odd reason. Anyway, come in here, push this lever out of the way, and the water raises. Which is very helpful because we need it to... Ooh, I gotta stop and think for a sec. I think you're gonna want to make sure this gets cut. Because we want it to be blue. But maybe we, want, we need it to be... Or, rather, we want the blue gates to go back up. I think that's how we want to work this, but I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong and I'm going to kick myself later for it, but you know what? It's all in the process of finding out, you know, by learning. Learning by doing, you know? It's kind of how my job went, really. 
all three and a half some years I've worked there. It's not really, I wasn't really like equipped with everything to know what to do. I kind of just had to learn how to do it. And uh, after some knobs of knowledge, I eventually learned how to do each thing effectively. Man, I feel like I forgot something between now and la like the last videos that we were together with. Oh yeah, that's right. At one point I think I said I was going to tell the story of my username, even though I kind of already told it before. Yeah, my username, Silent Senior 9 is actually broken up into pieces of my personality. Silent describes my shyness, pretty much, which you wouldn't be able to guess that I'm shy, but with how like, confident I seem to perceive myself or try to be... When in reality, I'm like, I'm, yeah, I'm chill and relaxed, and it sounds like I don't, I don't give a flying duck when anybody thinks of me. And in some cases, that's true, but in other cases, yeah, I actually do care, you know? I mean, I'm only human. People care about what other people think of them, and it's just natural. I guess the difference is I put on a braver face sometimes and push through and hope for the best, and it seems to work itself out, usually. Not always, of course. Every once in a while I get turned around or get thrown a curveball where I'm like, um, that didn't work out so well. Yeah, that's the silent part. Senior describes my, you know, I seem older than I actually am. I mean, now, of course, I'm 29, but I probably look like I'm in my 30s or 40s already, which, I mean, 30s, not far off. 40s, uh, well, you got a ways to go to, or I got a ways to go to catch back up to there. Also, I think I just went to the wrong chest. Yeah, it's 20 rupees. Poop. So now we gotta go back up top and go do this crap again. Dag nabbit. Oh god. I don't really know how, how I'm gonna make it through that. I can actually feel my eyes go like bloop. Not like getting tired, tired, but I can tell I'm gonna be struggling to. Not focus, but be 100% alert. So I'm hoping today's kind of an easy day. It should be, but, well. <laughs> what I perceive or what I'm predicting will happen sometimes doesn't necessarily happen. And I did good. Hooray. I was right. So you did have to have the pink gate down. Yeah, I seem to distinctly remember. Hey, there's a big key. Distinctly remember that, oh, there was a section where I was like, oh, man, why did I forget to... Put the pink switch or put the blue switch, you know, up or whatever. Oh, cool beans. I did that correctly. I am a happy camper. Yes. Oh, man, I got a yawn. Here it goes. Here's yawn. Wow, that felt good. <laughs> My throat is very much appreciative of that, <clears throat> even though it may not sound it. I think I've said that before in the past, but yeah, if you yawn, it's not so much that you're like, oh, I'm tired, but I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm actually tired, I know I am, but... Hey, look what we got, world! Boing! This is the hook shot. It extends and contracts and boing! It can grapple many things. Sweet. Anyway, what I, was gonna, what I was gonna say is, yawning is a good form of, not I guess you could call it exercise for your throat, but not so much that I'm looking at it as that. It's more so that every time you yawn, you relax your throat muscles, and well, you'd be surprised how tight your throat muscles are until you actually take time to yawn, and then you realize, oh, hmm, well. My throat definitely feels a lot better after this or that, you know, or after having yawned a little bit. Also, I think in some point, Morgan Freeman actually made a comment about that. Somebody asked him how he had such, that, had such a, like, epic voice that just sounds so amazing to everybody. He's like, honestly, I just yawn a lot. And I know that sounds silly, but, you know, your throat is more relaxed when you do that. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. Alright, don't remember if I have to go left or right. I think it's right. 
Although, as you can see, I have certainly been proven wrong in the past, and this is definitely one of those moments where I was. Well, poop. Jeez, man. Alright, let's go ahead and make our way to the left. You know, like, Beyonce. To the left, to the left. Everything you love about me is all to the left now. Anyway, sorry. What the heck is this jellyfish doing? It's like... Stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. It's like one of those levels in Donkey Kong Country, man. Jeez. Oh god, this is statue pushing. Ugh. Means there's a switch here. Yep, there it is. Probably gonna go on a limb and see if I step on it. The door's gonna go right back down. Oh, it'd be the only reason... <clears throat> excuse me, that's the only reason they would have put that in there. Is because you can't actually just step on the switch and leave. <clears throat> Oh my gosh. Also, I didn't even show this, but the hookshot's actually a very handy weapon. It can be annoying when there's, like, obstacles in the way. But, <clears throat> when you get past the obstacles, it's really solid for tackling enemies. Also, yet another tongue that looks like it's pullable, but apparently it's not this time. Okay, so... Progressing downstairs, and why? Why? Crap! Dang it. Man, I gotta figure out how I gotta get down or I gotta get down. Well, I went to the right and I couldn't do it because the frickin' water was blocking me. Hmm. Guess we'll have to keep tinkering around with this, huh? And by we, I mean me, because I mean y'all have probably already finished the game right now, and you're just watching me being amused at my failage. Wait, what? Oh, 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 oh! I figured out what we gotta do. Okay. That's one of those pain in the butt things where there's a switch off to one side of the map, but that switch actually opens both doors. Okay. Now I'm following what you're throwing down. Throw down those two face downs and in your turn. You've activated my trap card. Ooh. Funny how you can hear the Medusa heads like blurping out fireballs. Or burping. Maybe they're burping. Maybe that's them burping them. Blah. 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 And they just keep burping fireballs on in me. Well, may they have tummy aches for the rest of their life for how much crap they put me through with all the fireballs they throw at me. There we go. Alright, so anyway, for draining that, I'm trying to think where I want to go. Uh, let's see. It's either up or down. Let me try down first. Yeah, okay, that way I can get these treasure chests in here. I think you actually need to... Oh, no, you don't. You don't need to open these. Well, I'm going to open them because I need lots of rupees. And I will very happily take that. Dude. Oh, man. Oh, jeez, my crease. So I didn't actually say anything, but it's actually two people's birthdays on my end of the spectrum. My honey bunny boo boos is, yes, the person I'm dating. It's their birthday. And the it's actually my mom's birthday soon, too, although by the time this has happened, their birthdays have already came and went. So, I guess happy belated birthday to both of you. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I know I haven't talked about it much, but yeah, I am actually, I have actually been dating somebody for actually about a year or so. Let me see. Has it been... Two years yet? Mm, okay. Let's see, I met them back when? February? Not last February. It was the February before that. Yeah, so it has been a year at least. Okay, well, that's cool. Yeah, alright. Yeah. It was actually... It was funny because... It was a day when I was just like... I had nothing really to do. And I was like, oh heck it. I just want to... 
go out and do something. Like I had been working for the same position for U-Haul for some time, and I was just like very miserable and unhappy, and just dissatisfied with life. And I was like, heck it, and I just started making like dating profiles and took a chance, went out with this person, and it was it was a fun time. It was funny too because when I met them, <laughs> they uh. Our first encounter, our first date was the table was shaking violently, and I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. I'm like, man, we have a crappy table. What's going on here? And then I happened to look, and I'm like, oh, they're so nervous, their legs shaking the table. Okay, mm. all right. To which I, of course, found it rather adorable <clears throat> and cute, but they, of course, didn't find it as such. They're like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. You know, just like, eh, don't worry about it. You know. I just thought it was funny, but yeah. Took a chance, and, well, here I am. Happier than ever. <laughs> well, oh god! I just realized a very important fact, and I mean extraordinarily important. I gotta do this without dying. Ooh. That's gonna be fun. Okay. So this is Argus. And Argus has a little Argy, I guess. I don't know if that's what they're actually called. Their name from. They look like s'mores to me, or marshmallows. But really, they're probably like some kind of sea creature thing. You know, hence the jellyfish. <laughs> Dag nabbit! Well, the first game over, man. Crap. Guess I'll meet you guys back at Argus. Okay, I'm back, guys and gals. I actually forgot about something. <laughs> I spaced out completely, but I went the correct path where you're supposed to go. Typically, if you've, you're playing for this game for the first time, you're going to probably try to go this pathway first. And this is what's in this room. Just a bunch of skulls you pick up, and then, of course, an endless supply of these enemies to fight if you want to. Yeah, <laughs> got lost in thought there. And Oh, man, I'm down to three hearts again? Dang, well... Let's see if I can do a three heart challenge against Argus. Maybe I'll succeed, maybe I'll fail. Time will tell. Actually, I forgot I gotta go through this crap again. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. Love it when I have very little hearts to work with, yes. It's gonna be a wonderful day in the Legend of Zelda Land. Oh, now we're down to two hearts. Welp. Dude. Are you freaking kidding me? I died to a freaking grasshopper skidding on water? That's bullcrap. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead, stop by one of the potion shops, pick up some potion, and I'm going to be loaded to the brim so I don't die. So, excuse me while I do that. Okie dokie artichokies. I am back. I'm sitting right up because I'm ready to do this. So I'm gonna kick this monstrous jellyfish's butt. I figure I'll go ahead and show the spoils I picked up. So, if you remember a while back, we visited the witch's shop, and the little apprentice in training or whatever, she mentioned there was red medicine, green medicine, and blue med medicine, or in this case called cure-all medicine. Red, of course, restores hearts, green restores magic meter, blue restores both hearts and magic meter. Now. The downside to this is it's not like the fairy. It doesn't kick in automatically if you die, so you actually have to watch your HP, HP, your hearts, when you're doing this. So this fight really isn't too bad. As you saw, the idea is you get rid of the little blue schmores here, or the RG, I guess is what they're called. You don't touch them or him. You just keep cutting these away. You gotta get rid of all of them off his body. As soon as you manage to do that, the real fu like fun part begins, because that that part, in my opinion, is probably the easier of the two. This this part here is actually kind of a pain, because sometimes, even if you like go off to the side, sometimes the, the little schmores here will actually hit you, even if you, oh good lord, even if you um, grab them from a distance, and they shouldn't, like, in theory, hit you, but, you know, the game says, oh no, it touched him. It grazed his thigh. It grazed the left shoulder flank, so now you take damage. 
Yeah, you'll notice he actually gets, he moves a little faster as he's traveling here. I don't know why I keep saying he. I think because of the little tentacles underneath. I'm like, penetration. Ew. But then again, hey, you can still be female, shemale, feminine. You can still identify as a female and still have whatever you have as far as equipment goes. That don't bother me any. Just like that. Oh, excuse me, all that hitting doesn't bother me any either. So we're going to go ahead and uh, chew. And then after doing that, I'm going to immediately take time to drink the potion. And then for defeating all the little schmores here, he jumps up from the air. We're going to go ahead and charge up our spin attack. And then basically he's just going to try and flatten us out and then run into us. And then basically the threat level is it's... Like a ping pong, like, or ping pong, a ball bounce off the rooms. But if you spin attack this guy a few times, it's really easy. And there you go, that's Argus. That's how you were supposed to do it. But I made it look a lot harder than it needed to be. We rescued a second maiden! And Link holds it up with water shimmering beneath him, so this looks even more epic. Dang. Eric, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you, darling. The Triforce will grant the wishes of whoever touches it, as long as that person lives. Oh, dang it. Sorry, zombies. No wishes for you. That is why it was hidden in the Golden Land. Only a select few knew of its location. But at some point, that knowledge was lost. The person who we discover in the Golden Land was Gandorf, the evil thief. Luckily, he couldn't figure out how to return to the Lot World. Well, remember that you have magical powers which only the hero can make the most of. There are some other magical warping points, like the one you saw on Death Mountain. By using them, you can go between the two worlds and find the evil hidden in the Dark World. You are the only one who can destroy them. You can, you're the one who can destroy Ganondorf, the thief. No, Ganon, the evil king of darkness. Darling, do you understand? Yes, even though I botched it up greatly, what you said. May the way of the hero lead to the trap holes. Yeah! It's kind of cool how there's water shimmering beneath me. Okay, well, all failage aside. Thank y'all so much for watching. Love you bunches. Please don't let's tail slap. The next time we meet, we're actually going to progress forward here into the dark world. We're going to be doing a lot of like kind of just wandering around, picking up some stuff that I know I can pick up. I don't know if we're going to get it all done, but I'm going to try to get a healthy chunk of it done. And then after that, we'll meander our way up into the third dungeon, which is the Skull Woods. Since we now have the hookshot and the magic hammer, we now have a way to drag ourselves across gaps, as well as pound down stakes that are in the way. But all that being said, thanks again, take care, and I love you all. Bye bye <laughs>